coaches, Rick Stewart of All Access Coaching. I'm really excited to bring you this free video and make sure you hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data as far as what coaches want. And also, if, you can, if I can get to a thousand subscribers, I'll start doing weekly YouTube clinics for free. And if you hit the like and subscribe button, you'll get notified when we upload new content. We're uploading three or four videos every week. Slot T, I told you why, it's because we struggle. Uh, speed, angle, splits, alignments. You got to go fast. You got to have an attitude. Uh, you got to train your kids to execute fast. Everything we do in season, out of season, all stopwatch, uh, you know, segment timers in the weight room, uh, segment timers in the gym. Everything we do is start and finish, start and finish, start and finish, because that's how fast you got to execute within the offense. And that's where I get the tempo aspect of it. We're not going to run a single play and practice over as far as run it again, run it again type stuff. We're going to move on. We're going to coach on the running and we're going to align our plays where we run them over and over and over and over and over and over again. We tell our kids so you don't have to think, you know, your feet move faster when you don't think, but uh, tell them it's kind of like breathing. You know, you don't have to think about it. You just do it. And it's just repetition. So again, speed, angle, splits, and alignments uh, are huge. And I'll talk a little bit about that uh, right here. Here's a little practice session early on. Um, we video every Tuesday afternoon, PM practice. We watch it every AM. Yes, we do video practice once a week and we do watch it. Don't ever video if you're not going to watch it and watch it with your kids. You got to have coaches unselfishly get out there and sit it up, but this is like week one. But again, we're full pads in the AM and the PM. Some of you may not have an athletic period, but if you're in the athletic period, uh, we're going to be full pads. And then the PM, we're going to be full pads. What we do, you know, um, but here you'll see a defense. I'll talk later on about defense ABC and, and mixing up your fronts. We never go, we never go live. We just go full speed when we run the play. And uh, right here we have, I think, two huddles going with with uh, defense uh, on the ball is our offense C or the third offense, and we'll rotate those guys in here. But those are pretty much. Um, the fun team, you know, we don't call it scout team for us, call it fun. Maybe they'll think it's fun. It's not fun. But uh, again, this is a slower clip of um, how we are getting out of the huddle. You know, again, this is a practice. We got a little five, three front going on, you know, with threes, and four eyes and just different things. And you see group one and, you know, first team's going. When that ball crosses the line of scrimmage, the second group ought to be on the ball and get down. Again, this is just another series throughout the throughout the throughout the year, whether that's traps or sweeps, and and we'll just go over and over. Again, when we're running, for instance, if it's a trap uh, session or a sweep session, again, like I say, we'll, we'll we'll come out of the huddle one time, and then we'll run the next play on the line. We won't huddle every time. We huddle a lot in team, but not in trap and sweep series, which I'm going to discuss in my two other series that we have. I think I got some game planning and some practice planning. On the practice planning, I'll explain to you how we do the traps and the sweeps. Again, that's a left sit there. So those guys, you know, if you if you switch your strengths, well, then the strong side always leaves first. So you got to know who's first and, and who's out. And again, for us, you talk about tempo. Well, you talk about carry out your fakes past the line of scrimmage. You know, I don't have to sit cones, but you better you better cross the ball. You need to flinch. All the little things about you know, grab your jersey, rock your elbows. Um, I call it. You know, you got to accelerate. You know, when you take something, when you are running the ball, you accelerate. You also got to accelerate off fakes. Um, builds into your conditioning. Again, right here, this is, you know, the same fronts, but we will change fronts. And in practice planning, I will explain, we'll go from defense A, B, C. And so say we got four traps, we'll run four traps versus A, four versus B, four versus C, because we don't care. We're going to see all different kinds of fronts. There's not anything that, that really stops you unless they're better than you up front, because we're going to be prepared against your front. We're not going to block an odd all week and you run an even go, oh, we don't know what to do. We do it every week versus even. We do every week versus a split, versus an odd, uh, versus an under and an over front. You know, I mean, you've got to give your kids all kind of uh, scenarios so they get used to blocking any fronts. That's when we talk about path. You take a path. But, again, that's a little bit of tempo. Here's a little bit. This is, you know, you, I could show clips where we have success. Uh, I'm going to show some clips that, hey, 
just normal old clips. And this is the first scrimmage of this year. And I tried to get some clips where we show you us breaking the huddle. But again, in the games that we have, my femur knows I don't need him to show our huddle. I needed you to make sure that it's running before we get to the line of scrimmage. Don't waste time that we have to trim that video um, in the huddle. And so therefore I don't have a whole lot of from us static in the huddle to us moving. But here's a few catching us coming out of the huddle. That's tight. Here's a little wide. And again, first scrimmage. Tempo. Get out of the huddle, run the football. Get out of the huddle, run the play. Can't expect to play like that if you don't practice it like that. Again, 2.5, get up here, get your hands on the ground, let's go. That's tempo to me. I'll talk about some other tempo things, but again, tempo coming out of the huddle and practicing it that day from day one. We're practicing right now on our mat drills during the athletic period. You know, um, during our character curriculum right now, you know, we mix free weights and mat. And on the mat, we're all about, we're all about getting up there and getting down, getting up there and get comfortable in your stance and let's go. Again, I don't care if it's real clean video, it's just showing you that yes, we do get up there and get down and execute the play. You know, for us, our, you know, we've got four backs, including the quarterback. To me, they all ought to get tackled on every play. Like I said, I'm not showing you the best plays. I'm just showing you some plays. We get up there and get out, run the play. Of course, the farthest guy on the line scrimmage, he's the one that's got to hurry because he's the last one to get down. You got to be set a second. Uh, and so, therefore, you got to get up there and get your hand dirty. In slot T tempo, um, everything we do is executed at game speed. Um, whether that's our trap session, which I'll discuss down the road, uh, whether that's our sweep session, whether that's team, whether that's our jet series, we're, we're going to try not to ever run any plays at practice speed. If you're not running the play at game speed, don't do it. Uh, that's not, that, that's not the way it's going to be executed during the game. We won't accept it. And, um, we have to sell our kids to buy into that. That's a hard thing to do. We don't just run plays to run plays. Um, you know, that's incorporated into our warm up. I'm going to explain that in our practice preparation as far as from when we get in a stance, it, everything is quick. Take steps to get down. And whether that's an individual, whether that's in our pods as far as our centers and guards working interior trap sweep, or whether that's our strong ends and strong tackles working pods with working, you know, double teams to backers to, to scramble blocks. Everything is speed, 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 and time, 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 time. There's, we're not going to do anything lazy and slow. Um, those will get you beat. And so warm up individual pods, uh, team for us, we will huddle, uh, and run tempo, which is get out of the huddle and on the line of scrimmage, we will huddle in team series. Now we'll get, I call it 20 and 10, uh, in 10 minutes, we'll get 20 plays. And if we need more of that, we we will. But I'll explain that in our practice organization as far as how many plays we run a day, as far as, you know, I'm going to say close to a day in a practice, you know, can, can, can vary anywhere between, you know, 250 to 275. And so if you do that each day, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, there's a there's a greater chance for you to execute on Friday if, they's, if they've executed a ton of them during the course of a practice. Again, incorporate game speed. Today, um, we incorporate game speed on the mat this morning. Uh, we'll, we'll go game speed on the mat with our freshmen here, you know, this afternoon. Um, you know, we whistle command weights in the weight room. Uh, we sit the segment timer in the weight room, certain amount of sets and a certain amount of minutes because everything is a game. Everything is pressure and everything is timed. 
Game speed, game speed, game speed. I think slot T is about speed and repetition. You got to go fast. You got to go fast. You got to execute fast. If you can't, the, then we're not going to be successful. Um, I think if, if, if you go fast and you repeat plays, uh, that gives you yourself the best chance to be successful to win football games. Uh, like, like I said here early on, they were 2-29, and 29, and so um, I guess over the previous five years, we've had two of the best records in school history with a 12-win season and 11-win season. Um, the first year here to, when, we, when we came back and we initiated the slot T again, uh, they had been 0-10, 1-10, and, and, and then 0-10, uh, and, and then uh, we wound up um, working into the playoffs and finished 7-5, and five, went two rounds my first year, and it's all because speed, repetition, uh, toughness, uh, tempo from the huddle to get down. And, of course, you can also run your tempo offense. But then just execute gives yourself the best chance to win games. Uh, nothing, and I do mean nothing, is accepted if it's not game speed. You know, I'm going to ask them if, if that's the best you got, we're not, we're not going to be successful. And I don't want any of you to be the reason we're not being successful. Um, and we talk a lot of, you know, you think you're going fast, go faster. You think you're going fast, go faster. And, uh, and that's from individual drills, ball security drills. And I'll talk about sled and cage and how you incorporate that speed. Um, and, and I do think that if, you know, if you, if you practice hard, it makes the games easier. If your practice is easy, the games are hard and you're not practicing hard enough. And when I say hard, hard isn't going fast in game speed. So we'll never, we'll never do anything that's not game speed. And if we do, then we're, we're preparing to be unsuccessful. But uh, that's a little excerpt of, of, of tempo, um, tempo offense as far as what slot T is about. There is no slow slot T um, emphasis. Uh, it's all about how you can line up, go fast, execute, and um, you may not block it just exactly right, but you execute fast enough that uh, maybe they'll miss you. Again, that's some information on, on uh, tempo. Coaches, I really hope you got some great information from that YouTube video. Again, hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data. And if I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'll do free YouTube clinics. And you also get notified when I'm doing those YouTube clinics and when I upload new content to this channel. Thanks for watching, coaches. Thank <laughs> you.